something like English, for every topic we start, we get a success criteria with different grades on it, and we have to highlight the key bits and things we can include in our essay or coursework to get that extra grade. Exams are creeping up on us now. We're going to try and work out how you're going to be assessed in this thing. Right, you've got a sheet in front of you. It's got the GCSE criteria for C, B, A and A star. Have a read, try and work out which one is which, first of all. So where's the B? Which one's the A? Which one's the dirty C? Obviously, once you've done this, I want you to try and work out why, because anyone can just write a grade next to a sentence. Try and work out why that grade is what you're thinking it is. So, so for C, that you don't actually have to analyse anything. You just show that you understand it. Basically, you understand, yeah. And for B, it's like... Well, yeah, and it's a sustained evidence, so it's not just like you give, like, one. Right, then. Which one is the A, then? Steph? Um, demonstrate an analytical and interpretive skill. Explore alternative approaches and interpretations. Consider and evaluate the way. Consider and evaluate the way meaning is conveyed through language, structure, and form. Good. It is that one. How did you know that was an I? Someone else that isn't Steph. Bryony. Um, because for the A star, it says originality of analysis, and you've Good. been telling us that we need the original idea to get the A star. Excellent. Good. So the difference between an A and an A star is that for an A star, you really have to try and pin down that originality of analysis. What other differences did you spot between an A and A star? For an A star, you have to have like an opinion on it and be enthusiastic about it. You do, yeah. And we've had this discussion before. Enthusiasm doesn't mean you have to jump up and down and pretend you love the poem. It means that you've got to have an enthusiastic response. Good. Anything else that you spotted? Print. So it uses words like sustain and concise. Absolutely, yeah. You've got to get straight to the point for an A star. You've got to know what you're saying and get there as accurately as you can. Good. Hopefully by the end of the lesson, you'll be another step nearer that A star. If they give a list of, like, say, A star, what you need to do for an A star and what you need to do for a C, you'll make sure you do more A star work than a C, because you know what you're doing. If you don't have that success criteria, then you don't know what you're doing, like, what you need to do to get that grade, so... It's slightly disingenuous, because some of them aren't an A yet. They're not a miracle class. But by talking only about A and an A star, the C's and the B's, you'll find they'll reach further towards an A. So by keep talking about an A star, even those that aren't an A will still make progress.